car with this Jaguar, I have a just a basic ECU tune, transmission tune with Monte Gallery's intake. Nice. And then a little bit of aero on there from APR. Mm -hmm. But that's pretty much it for now. Nice. I see like the front lip spoiler. Uh, how do I call it? Splitter. Splitter. Yeah. Splitter. That's from APR. Yep. And then do you have the the wing too or? Yeah. So a little fun story about the wing and this front splitter. So that wing is just a basic universal GTC 200. Oh, wow. I've always wanted a wing mm -hmm. on this car, but it comes with an active aero. So I had to cut that, disable it, and then I mounted that wing on myself. Oh, nice. It took me about seven hours to do that. Drilled through the trunk time, and everything? Yep, drilled eight holes, mm -hmm. did a lot of wow. measurements. Yeah. But second wing that I've ever put on. Yeah. And then that caused a little bit of, um, well, that caused a little trunk bit of flex cloud. and everything? No, well, more all the... social media wise, like, Cloud mm -hmm. ish, but it got Something the attention of the APR Jaguar. Yeah. and other Jaguar owners. Nice. I actually, ended up bringing my car to Chino, where mm -hmm. APR is at. That yeah, yeah. With Chris, and they took some measurements of the wing. Mm -hmm. Like, there's been people hitting them up about it. So they use it for the Jaguar suit. Wow! Congratulations for that. And then the front splitter was just kind of like in the moment kind of deal. And I was yeah. like, hey, uh, can you guys measure out this bumper and put? Your guys is like splitter APR on there. splitter, yeah. So this is not like a splitter from like a 370Z or mm. a Camaro. Something random, this yeah. Is, Just this for car? the car? Yep. Nice. Because I went, um, there was previously before some Cars and Coffees at their warehouse, which I went over there. Bishimoto was over there. And yep. it was really cool. I mean, there was only like a few cars. It was kind of like a quiet morning. Yeah. But uh, that's when I was going hard. Like I went to five different car and co Cars and Coffees that whole day so really it was insane and i got inside it was a corvette inside it was a c8 i believe and orange um, yeah the orange one that one was inside oh, and yeah. uh it was a pretty cool day over there and apr performance you know obviously allowing everybody inside i believe there was a type r outside uh mm. i can't remember like i said so many different events i go to oh, yeah. um i know there's a common issue with these windows do you have that issue with the jaguar uh, or the windows no yeah. i haven't had really any window issues the biggest issues i've had with this car is cooling cooling like, unfortunately for a car that used to cost six figures mm -hmm. they put a lot of uh plastic cooling parts oh, so wow. i've had to replace my own coolant wipe pipe that's it's under the supercharger mm -hmm. and when that so breaks supercharged. Wow. yeah this is a 5 liter v supercharger motor okay. all-wheel drive nice but uh i had to replace that myself I've also had to replace about three water pumps so far. Little things with the water pump, like the gas, the gaskets mm -hmm. would break, yeah. and then I would replace it. Wow. So I've done a lot of my own. So you know definitely your engine for sure. Enough for now. Yeah. We're going to try to do more with it. I know like the tuning company I went to is Velocity AP. They're up in Canada. Yeah. They're coming out with their E85 uh, fuel pump and some other things too that I want to jump in on. Mm -hmm. They have upper pulleys and lower pulleys that I want. They have down pipes that I want. Well, I'm definitely over time, yeah. Definitely yeah. over time, yeah. I feel you on that one, especially because car parts are very expensive now. It's just like, what do I want to buy with thirteen hundred dollars? Right. So for the Fiat community, I have a Fiat of Barth. Everything costs thirteen hundred dollars. Bigger turbo, brakes, carbon fiber hood. What do you want? Thirteen hundred dollars each. So, you well, know, those cars they, are pretty cool. I just yeah. drove one not too long ago. Yeah, they're they're fun little rockets. Yeah, definitely. It. Even from factory, you know. Yeah. Um, Same thing with this car. It pops it for yeah. what it is. That's crazy. So. So really quick, same question. If you had a um, dream car, what would be your dream car? Well, I have many dream cars. <laughs> this is one of them. Right. Nice. Nice. But uh, if I can get a like an upgrade mm -hmm. or at least the same level, I believe with this vehicle, the next car I would realistically try and get is the uh, a Lotus Amira. Nice. Okay. It's basically I see an Avora, mm -hmm. but it's. It's a smaller car than this one for sure. Oh yeah, it's smaller. Mm. It's compact. It's a great driver yeah. vehicle yeah. to go around the canyons. Of course. It comes with a reliable Camry motor that's supercharged. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. Have you canyon this one? Yes, I've canyoned this already. Have you like done time attacks in there or just driving it? I haven't done any time attack events. Like I would like to mm. do some. Like I would Crazy love stuff to build like this that. car to a point where I can bring it to global time attack. Mm -hmm. That would be a huge accomplishment in yeah, my definitely. Like, life. Definitely. But for now, I mean, it takes time, like you said. Money is involved in this. Like, If I'm only we're gonna... all just rich and like, here, here's a dollar, we can do what we want. <laughs> you know, something like that. But the nice thing is, though, like, 
when you're working for it, you know, it's a different feeling. Yeah, of course. You know, coming of from course. a 350Z to a 370Z to this car, and we're just slowly moving up. And every car that I've owned, especially the Zs, I love Zs. Yeah. I, I've had a great appreciation for the community of and course. the vehicle, which, of course. honestly, the next car I'm probably going to get is going to be another 370Z, but a Nismo this time, not a Fismo. Right, right. Nismo. <laughs> yeah, no, I, this, uh, this Nismo, is, they have really crazy designs from factory with their oh, yeah. body kits so they do look very nice to accomplish the the body curves and everything they don't really like too much you know absolutely like some of the bmws for sure like you'll see like their their body kits are just a little too weird uh the higher up you go some of them are really nice yeah. but you know but um right now we're here at beamer fest i talked to bk1 pedro so what would you say is your favorite bmw here if you had to choose one i love m2s i like the older m2s yeah. The newer ones, I'm still a little indifferent about the facelift. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. the older ones, I was looking at an M2 competition before this car. Mm -hmm. And I just love how it's a coupe. It's small, looks nice. And it's tight too. modifiable. Yeah. Right? Definitely. Good aftermarket build yeah. as well. A lot of different parts for those, yeah. But any, realistically, any M2 that's here, I love. Yeah. And there's a lot of different BMWs of M2s, M3s. There's even like an older 8 series by the Liquid Molly booth. Yeah. Um, and then there's a right hand drive 5 series wagon over there, which oh, wow. I thought was crazy. I so didn't see that yet. if it's literally that big old balloon vent right there, it's parked right underneath and everything. So um, yeah, no, but it's cool. It's good, it's good to get to know you and everything. And um, yeah, so. All right, so here's some just quick shots of the interior and just all around the whole entire Jaguar. Super cool car. Maybe someday we'll do a much more intense edit with this vehicle, somewhere that's obviously not the track. But if you guys want to see more on this car, Ghost Jag, that is his Instagram handle name. And if you guys like these kind of shorter edits, comment down below. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. And of course, as always, stay safe and stay chill.